I got a question for you guys out there. If not now, then when? And if not you, then who? Who the hell else out there do you feel like should be doing the thing that you want to do? Another question is, where are all my people out there who, when they're dog-ass tired after work or upon waking up before work because you had to set the alarm clock two hours before work so you can get your workout in, so you don't become a fucking slob, uh, who's got it in them? Where are all my people who got it in them to get it in either before or after work when they're dog-ass tired? Where are all those people at? I know you're out there, um, but say something if you hear me, because I don't see it often. I do see it sometimes. Don't get me wrong, and, I, and those are my homies. But, you know, you don't see it often, and if you're part of the crew, if you're part of the uh, elite group of people who work harder on themselves than they do at their job, and they work really fucking hard at their job, if you're part of that crew, raise your hand and just be proud of yourself. Uh, Cause those are the type of people that are really getting somewhere in life. And that's all I'm making these videos about is, uh, is just to create a awareness if it isn't there already, which I know it is. Cause I feel like the, uh, the culture of today is, you know, how can I, Oh, how can I get better? You know, self-improvement, new year, new me, yada, yada. Um, I know it's out there, but I think the same amount of people that have always been killing it are still killing it. And the same amount of people who are uh, still struggling to um, get their feet under themselves and really stand up and do something with their lives and live their dreams. And I know it says, I know it sounds... Um, like a like a meme or a poster on Facebook to say but you know first you have to dream it first you have to and I, I hate the word dream because you got to be wide awake while you're doing it but the dreaming is writing down of goals and making them come true through your actions your daily little actions um it could be achieving a qualification, achieving a degree, achieving a physique that you wanted, achieving a, um, a, uh, anything, achieving anything first starts with the, the desire to do it, the written plan to do it and the follow through of actions, uh, tiny little actions throughout the hours, days, weeks, and months in, of the year to get it done. And, uh, and those, those little steps are so important and they can't be overlooked. And you basically have to play in every single, uh, detail, minute detail, when you're going to study, when you're going to train, um, and, uh, yeah, when you're going to succeed, when's the deadline for your, for your, uh, achieved goal. And I know sometimes we might fall off track. Here it is, February 1st. Who's still out there grinding from what they said from January 1st, 2023? 2023, January 1st. You said you are going to do something? Boom. Who's still out there uh, grinding on it? Uh, if you're one of those, good on you. If you're not one of those, if you've fallen off, then get the fuck back up. Just get your feet back onto you. Stand back up. Rewrite the thing down. Admit that you fucked it up. Admit that you fell short of your thing and uh, then get back up on. But first, in order to get back up on, you have to realize that you actually fell off. So don't keep, you know, messing around um, doing the same old thing. And uh, yeah, back to the original thing. If not, when, or uh, if not now, then when, and if not, who, or if not you, then who? I know I fucked that up. But anyways, the uh, original one was good. But um, 
yeah, it's really just about uh, building the confidence, uh, building the confidence uh, and the energy level necessary to become who you want to be. And how you do that is how do you become the person you want to be? How do you become that motherfucker? You first have to keep trying and trying and trying and trying. Like if you want to be six pack, ripped abs, uh, fitness person, and you're fat and you're out of shape and you've never been there, then how in the world are you supposed to embody the confidence uh, that comes along with that? If you look at other people and you envy them for their confidence, you have to understand that there are some people out there running off of false confidence and then there are some people who really have it. And let's say the people that are out there running off of false confidence are... Uh, for instance, people that are using fucking steroids to uh, gain a physique, you know, they still may have to work hard to attain the physique and everything. But man, nothing feels like good old natural training. And you're just everything you have, the elite level of fitness that you have is built on nothing but what you were born with. And that is one of the most amazing feelings in the world. And another thing is... When you build something financially or you build some sort of, when you achieve something, you're able to amass some sort of a fortune or you're working on it and you did it not with no one's help. Everyone needs help to get where they're going, but you didn't take a handout. You didn't get some sort of inheritance or you didn't, you know, you did every single thing that you got was straight from the ground up. Uh, started from the bottom, now we here sort of thing. And, uh, and that to me is amazing. And I know, you know, tons of people out there got to where they are with whatever I just said before, and they're probably going to be pissed off. You know what? I don't care. Um, it's just the people who got it, got it. And they know how good it feels to have it when you work so hard for it. And, uh, and, and some people are just born with an innate talent for, certain things like look at NBA players like certain NBA certain NBA players like how how uh how good does it feel for someone who's 6'10 to fucking dunk a basketball I'll tell you what not as good as someone who's 5'8 who can dunk a basketball who had to train and train and train for hours and hours and hours to really get off the ground and, and get that ball in the net so sometimes sometimes being the shorter guy or girl and having to work and work and work and work for it feels 10 times better than the guy who can just like stand there and fucking dunk it in the net. Um, so don't underestimate, you know, sometimes you'll have 10 times more confidence if you do the hard work necessary. It seems like you're, it seems like you don't have the advantage. It's early on. It seems like you don't have the advantage. Uh, you know, let's say somebody who's already naturally thin and somebody who doesn't have a problem with obesity who's not prone to obesity and uh, fat uh, stores well <laughs> it's easy for them to uh to stay lean you know what i'm saying but when you're like struggling and struggling and struggling with your weight and you're 400 pounds and then you work and work and work and work your fucking ass off to get that uh to get that fat off and then you get down around fucking you know 180 200 Man, doesn't that just feel so fucking good because you work so fucking hard for it? Hell yeah, it does. So it, sometimes it may seem like you don't have the advantage. But man, when you finally achieve what you're trying to get, it's going to feel 10 times better than the guy who had all the talent. So it goes back to that one saying where hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. When talent's out there just chilling because they got it already. And they don't really have to work that hard for it because they fucking got it. Uh, and then you come up, you've been working your ass off for like 10 years. And you just scoot on by them because you're just fucking, you just work harder. You outwork them. And uh, so sometimes that's the move. That's the, that, that's the confidence. You're going to have 10 times more confidence. And that is the main objective with training physically. Like doing physical training. Uh, working out is uh you know making money and getting your finances right and all that it's a it's a confidence builder and there's nothing that feels better 
then a heightened, 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 like your, your confidence is at an all time high and you can't be torn down. You cannot be broken down because your confidence is so freaking sky high. And, and, and it really only gets that way when you're doing the thing that you're fashioned to do. When you are doing the thing that you, when you're doing the thing that you were made to do or that you conjured up in your mind that you said, I'm going to do this. And, and that's the thing that gives you confidence. Like when I'm sitting at, when I'm sitting around, just sitting on the couch doing nothing, just on a rest day or something. I don't have the same confidence as when I just crushed a workout. You get the confidence when you're doing the thing that you were fashioned to do and you, and you almost forget, you know, you become this, this mental, like untouchable thing. You know, you can't break me sort of mentality when you're doing this thing that you love to do and that you're really good at and that you've worked so fucking hard to, to have. And, um, yeah, and, it, and it's just, it just makes me want to want to share with everybody because, um, and I know there's plenty of other people out there who are sharing it, but there's no one who can share your thing like you can because no one else has been through what you've been through. So, you know, it's like a book uh, written on real estate or something like every, everyone has a different perspective and everyone has a different uh, way of seeing it. So you can pick up one book. And it's telling you this and about their life story. And then you pick up this other book and it's, uh, it's got some other information in it. So don't, don't, don't think that just because you watch like some, somebody uh, talk about fitness or somebody talk about real estate or somebody talk about investing that you've heard it all. Cause you haven't heard it all because you haven't heard everybody. So you really need to kind of read widely and watch widely and listen to different people's perspectives on um on all this stuff because it'll make you a more wise person and then you can go out there and um uh be a hard charger and uh get all your goals and live all your dreams uh, once you've built up the, the necessary uh motivation and desire for something and uh and then you can go out there and get that same confidence and uh and it really is uh something magical when you when you gain that confidence because you can do anything once you have trained yourself to be able to get up early, stay up late, do hard work, uh, you know, nothing can stop me and, uh, and I can do anything mentality. You can't do everything, but you can do anything. See, you cannot do every single thing, but you can do any one thing or any couple of things. So just remember that, that when it comes to doing something and achieving something, Maybe you can't do this particularly, but you can pick something else and achieve that. So you can just refine your goals, refine your dreams. And if one thing doesn't work out, then fuck it. Just move on to the next thing and, um, and be good at that. But there's always something out there for everybody. So don't just think that you're not good at anything. I hear that all the time where people are like, oh man, I'm just not good at anything. Well, that's, that's bullshit. You're, you're good at something and you just have to find it. You just have to find something that you're good at and it's out there. Just keep trying. And, uh, yeah, this whole, uh, this whole thing I'm, uh, I'm on YouTube is about is really just to, uh, inspire people to get out there and just do their thing, find their thing and, and crush it. And that's all, that's all I had to say about that. Um, until the next time I'm out.